Good to see you. Apologies, mate. But I don't have much to report. I can see bloody Nokron right above me. But I'm absolutely stumped. I've tried all the gateways, to no avail. Perhaps it's time to ask Celebus. I recall that spiteful little rat acting like he knew something. Let's give him a squeeze. Show him just how sharp my teeth are. Thing I are we and I have a nut. Well, well, you're asking me about that. The task was left to you and the mongrel, was it not? Not only are you incompetent, but shameless to boot. Well, there's no helping it. Now's as good a time as any. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Limgrave. She owes me for the help I gave her when she was. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Well, well. Celibus is not a name I ever wanted to hear again. But fine. If it will help you, my apprentice. I offer my knowledge. The stars alter the fate of the Carian royal family. And the fate of your mistress, Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations and, in a crushing victory, arrested their cycles. Now he is the force that repulses the stars. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement, and so too would Rani's destiny. Ah, well met. What news? So Rani's fate is kept in stasis by Star's Curse Radan. That reminds me of something I heard. There's a festival being held at the castle on the southern edge of the Caled Wilds, east of Limgrave. It's a festival of combat. And I heard that you can fight Radan himself. He who's once called the strongest of all the demigods. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but I think it's worth investigating. I'll be on my way to this festival of Radan. You're coming too, right? To Radan's festivities. I'll meet you at Redmain Castle in Caled. The way ahead is pleasingly simple. We fight, sword and fang.
pleasure to see you. A pleasure indeed. I am Gari, a great sage. In my day, anyway. I'd hoped to ask a favor when one of your ill, a strapping young tarnished, able to cross the scarlet stone fret. I'll provide fine recompense. Should you accept, I will teach you the secret of sin. Ah, then you will. I need your help to heal a certain young girl. Her name is Millicent. You will find her beyond Celia, resting at the church atop the cliff. Stricken by the rotting sickness. Oh, you found the unalloyed gold me As promised, I've detailed the secret of Celia. Go on. Now let me have a look. Mm. Mm. Well, well, this is the work of a true artisan. A meticulous, bold craftsman who grasps the essence of life. Can you give me some time with this? As well made as it is, it won't be much you. Can you give me as well made? Is repaired. Now it will forestall. Will you give it to the girl, Millicent? I will reward you in kind. <laughs> Millicent rests at the church atop the cliff beyond Celia, attended to by the witless pests who worship her. A wretched fate, indeed. The poor. Do you find it peculiar that I would show such concern? Well, I'm the one that found her. A mere babe in the she is one of my dear daughters. But the rotting sickness erodes one's memory. I doubt that she remembers the first thing about me. Oh, I must be getting old. I didn't know. <laughs> now, all you need to do, she's convalescing in the juice and you should. Well, it matters not. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh writhes with scarlet rot. It is a curse. Not to be meddled with by man. You ask that I stab myself with the needle to quell the scarlet rot. But how? <sighs> Never mind. I, I would rather trust you and simply continue to spoil from within. Would you mind averting your eyes for a moment? Well, that was easier than expected. But why do I feel so... to see you again. My apologies for when last we met. I fainted before I could even thank you. Everything is as you said. Since inserting the needle, the scarlet rot has ceased to writhe. Even the nightmares have abated. And now, though I can scarcely believe it myself, I can move as I please. Not that I could ever truly repay you. I would like you to have this, by way of thanks. A token, though it... I'm considering leaving on a journey. With the needle buried in my flesh, I've started to recall, but dimly, my destiny. It's all thanks to you. 
My name is Millicent. I pray fate permits us meet again. I'm considering the need of my destiny. Hello again. Something about this place felt familiar to me, so I decided to pay a visit. Hoping to find someone here, but I've only found emptiness. Perhaps, before my departure, I needed someone to say farewell to. Well, I must focus on my journey. For which I have you to I must stay strong. Thank you kindly for giving the needle to Millicent. Now she too can begin to stare her fate straight in the eye. You've been a saint through and th as thanks. I vow to impart of the lost sorceries of the Senians, descendants of the Eternal. Oh, you noticed, did you? Indeed, Millicent did visit this hovel of a home. It seems the memories eaten away by the rotting sickness yet remain, but faintly. However, she has no need of me anymore. No, she must embark on her journey and stare her fate in the eye. As I've aged, I've found the best way to aid the young is to be forgotten. Make certain that little me like her mother, she has the but commands only one arm and... Plays are all made up. I'm waiting for the curtain. Let's give them a show to remember, eh? Just don't you go dying on me. For Ronnie's sake, too. Once more into the... <laughs> Champions! Welcome! The stars have aligned! The festival is nigh! General Radan! Mightiest demigod of the Shattering awaits you. Champions, prepare for battle. Defeat the general, claim glory, and grab that great room. A celebration of war. Came. How delightful. Indeed, I thought I might find you here. By the by, do you know well? It is none other to think. I could face a great champion of this. Oh, God. In truth, I quiver at the. But the fear simply assures me the ordeal is worth. I'll be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I, Iron Fist Alexander. Good and prepared the festival begin. 
Before we begin, allow me to paint you the full picture. General Radan is cursed ever to wander. Eaten from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. Now he gathers the corpses of four friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. Howling at the sky. But now, we must make merry. Oh, gathering of champions! The revels, the celebration of war! The Radan Festival! You will find the field of General Radan divested of his wits and howling at the sky. Good. I was waiting for you. Oh, what a sick way to fight, eh? The glory of the clash is shared. By Radan. And you. And ha! <laughs> Did you falling star right before our eyes? I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something at that scale. He was a living legend if ever. The path has now been cleared. To Nokla. Barani's fate will be decided. 
Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our souls once more for Mistress Rani. Let's meet where the falling will go into my only purpose is the curtains rising. Hello there. Um, it was a battle marvelously fought. I, on the other hand, am nothing but a croc. One hit was all it took after that. Uh, and as such, I can hardly... <sighs> as luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of... If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me, I'll... And you know... The bodies found here. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all. Just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait. <laughs> At last, the war fest. Brave champion, you have our the celebration was spectacular. General Radan is surely pleased, festering with rot and crippled by madness. Finally, my work is done. I am no longer bound to. The I have a task in mind, old business, you could say. May we meet again, if the fates deign it. You've met Garank, I take it. Then owing to our duties shared, we are now comrades in arms. I think you've earned this. The power of the Golden Order to aid the hunt of the... Are you acquainted with a man, you know, the piteous... He was a formidable spellblade in times... Don't let his easy air deceive you. He was wise beyond his years. It's no more, though. You see him now, ravaged by thorns, like he's half dead already. I can't take well the lesson, friend. That's how you end up when seduced by those who live in death. When grace is sullied, it rots people from the inside. I serve the Golden Order, that I might put this crooked land to rights, following only the guidance of the Great Elden Ring. Those who live in death fall outside the principles of the Golden Order. Their mere existence sullies the guidance of gold, tainting its truth. And so it is, the vermin must be exterminated. to the capital, Landell. To the east, the two fingers will deny you. You may be our best home. I had my doubt. Only once before have I seen two great... Look there, the fingers. Fine work, brave tarnished. The greater will is pleased. You have earned the now. Seek the Erd Tree to become Elden Lord and restore the golden... The fingers expect as much from... Take this. Now, become Elden Lord. Ah. Queen Marika is the vessel of the... A god in truth. But after the Elden Ring's shattering, a grim punishment for shattering the Order. Despite... The fingers... Marika's trespass demanded that even in shackles, she remains a god, confer great rules to become El... The fingers... Now you may... 